I'm out here in the forest today and it's of course uh, getting to spring um, just in a few days actually but there are many beautiful plants and flowers that have been grown so far and one of those plants is right over here it's called crane o fly it's this leaf attached to this little bulb like seed underneath it I think it just looks cool how it is. Uh, another one to be mentioned is a uh, common chickweed, even though that's already been growing and is a weed. And then over here, there's this flower called the Virginia Beauty. It has a, a pink type of inside, either a pistil or um, I forgot what it was called for the males, but that's pretty cool. They're native to Virginia. Uh, today in this video, I will be showing you um, various trees in my backyard that I've so far identified and other plants. So one tree, of course, the most common in this area um, is the common American holly. Its bark is a little bit rigid, but is still overall smooth. And there are many young hollies in this uh, forest. Some are like the holly bush over there. Uh, other ones are like, um, this is a good example. I guess not around here. But yeah, the hollies are always here. Uh, so that's the first tree. As you can see there, what's used are here. It's also the tree that I commonly climb. Another thing that I've seen, of course, plenty of in the spring season is spiders. Many small spiders, so I sadly cannot um, identify them. And then the second type of tree that can be commonly found in here, oh, there's a spider right there, can't see it, is the, do, um, the American hornbeam. It's very smooth and a lot of times there's a lot of younger uh, hornbeams in this forest. It usually has like bulges and all that as you can see it goes back there back down that way bulges in the wood it's sort of its common theme to the bark i guess going back this way um down the trail Whenever I find it, there is the American Beach. American Beach is quite easy to identify. I showed the leaves last time. Here it is. Also very smoothish bark, um, but it's mainly identifiable by its leaves. As I said before, it has these common uh, veins here that go along it and the leaves start to yellow in the winter. That's most of what is seen here. There are of course a common, a few common oaks around here, which I haven't entirely identified. It'll be a lot easier to identify them uh, once they get some leaves, but as you can see, they're quite tall up and their branches are up there. So going down to this area right here, this is fan club moss. It's a, I guess a, 
overlying cover for the forest floor. Um, I'm mainly finding this part of the foresty region when there's not as many trees, it's more vacant. I'm moving on. Well, while I was out here, I spotted this down tree here. Real nice walking position here. So, even though uh, it is being held up by this smaller beech branch, so I'm not going to climb up there. And also it's constantly moving, as you can tell. Oh, back to it. There's another horn beam right here. I guess so far from this area there. Oh, here we go. So right out here, this is Christmas fern. Uh, common in some parts of this forest. That's a pretty cool looking for fern that uh, covers the ground. I mean, so far out here, it's like a 70 uh, degree day out, so it's pretty nice. And back to the fan club moss over here, a lot of it. All right, I'll uh, come back when I, ever I find something. Just as I said, I'll come right back. Instantly, I find this. Now, this is most likely from probably an elm, I believe it was. It's hard to zoom in. Oh, uh, there we go. So, as uh, they may be called propellers, airplanes, and all that, little whirly gigs type of thing. Those little flying seeds that will be uh, used, well, here we go, that will come down by this from the top of a tree. Uh, these ones are younger, of course, so I'm not sure which tree it's from, but nonetheless, it's pretty cool. I guess that's all for today's video identification of trees uh, outside i'll make another video on it in a different area probably a battlefield or a hiking area just so there's a better variety of trees well that's all for today's video oh actually You look up there. Yeah, there's a little bird up there. I cannot see. I'm assuming it is, of course, a woodpecker. Oh, that's pretty cool. Well, that's all for today.